Hey there, beautiful minds. Welcome back to the Hermetic Chaos channel, your learning labyrinth where we explore the many pathways to knowledge, growth, and success. I'm thrilled to bring you the second part of our unique five-part series aimed at mastering any topic in life. Today's episode is all about the Teachability Index, a revolutionary concept that assesses your potential for growth, learning, and success. Get ready to delve into the intricacies of investing in your learning journey, making transformative changes, and thinking outside the box. Let's rev those engines of curiosity and set off on today's adventure. Investing in Learning, Time and Money When it comes to learning, one of the first things you need to consider is your investment. This encompasses both time and money. It isn't merely about spending vast amounts of money on the most expensive courses or burying yourself in books for hours on end. It's about understanding the value of mindful investment. Recognize the areas you want to grow in, and allocate your resources accordingly. This can involve monetary investment in educational resources or investing your time to practice and hone new skills. An investment in knowledge is a stepping stone towards your future success. If you aspire to improve your public speaking skills, for instance, you might invest in a course, hire a coach, or purchase books on the subject. It's not just about the money you put in, it's also about the time you devote to practice, to research, and to actively seek out opportunities to speak. Each minute and each penny spent is a leap towards your objective. It's crucial to ask yourself, am I willing to make these investments for my learning? Doing things differently stepping out of the comfort zone. The second essential aspect of a high teachability index is the willingness to do things differently. It's all too easy to stay within our comfort zones, to stick with the familiar. But real growth and learning require you to step outside your comfort boundaries. You might need to alter your daily routine, experiment with new learning techniques, or actively seek feedback. You might even challenge yourself with more complex material or aim for higher goals. Doing things differently might mean studying at a different time of day than you're used to. Or perhaps it means adopting a completely new approach to absorbing information. Maybe you've always preferred reading, but you decide to give audiovisual content a try. The key question is, are you ready to step out of your comfort zone? Are you prepared to embrace new ways of doing things for the sake of your learning? Thinking differently, adopting new perspectives. In addition to doing things differently, a high teachability index requires you to be open to thinking differently. Learning is about more than the mere acquisition of new information. It's about broadening your horizons, challenging your beliefs, and adopting new ways of viewing the world. This requires an open and flexible mindset, one that is willing to accept change and adapt based on new knowledge. Thinking differently might involve questioning long-held assumptions or approaching problems from a completely different angle. It might mean being receptive to the idea that there might be better, more effective ways of doing things. The willingness to adapt your thinking based on new learning is integral to maximizing your teachability index. The question you should be asking yourself is, am I open to shifting my perspective? The Teachability Index as a Self-Reflection Tool The Teachability Index is more than a mere measurement, it's a tool for introspection and self-reflection. If you find that your willingness to learn or your openness to change isn't quite where you'd like it to be, don't treat this as a failure. Rather, view it as an opportunity for growth and improvement. Identify areas where you can make changes and formulate a plan to improve. Remember, your teachability index is not a fixed score. It's a fluid measure that can change with personal development, experiences, and mindset shifts. It's not a harsh metric to judge yourself by but rather a tool to illuminate your path to learning and growth. The goal isn't to achieve a perfect score, but to continuously strive towards becoming a better learner. The journey of learning, being in the driver's seat. Remember that learning is a journey. Having a high teachability index doesn't just mean you're along for the ride, it means you're in. The driver's seat. You have the power to influence your path, to choose your direction. By investing in your learning, doing things differently, and being open to new perspectives, you're actively steering your journey towards knowledge and growth. Learning is an adventure, and the Teachability Index is your compass. It guides you in understanding your attitudes towards learning and change, 
showing you where you can make improvements. So keep investing, keep changing, keep growing. And most importantly, keep exploring the fascinating world of learning. The ultimate question remains, where will your teachability index take you today? And there we have it, folks. We've navigated through the dynamic landscape of the teachability index today, and I hope you've discovered some exciting insights about your learning potential and willingness to embrace change. But remember, this journey doesn't end here. We've still got three more exciting episodes left in our special series, and we'll continue unraveling the mystery of mastering any topic in life. So stay tuned, keep that thirst for knowledge alive, and let's conquer the chaos of learning together. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and let the power of hermetic chaos guide you to incredible wisdom.